Welcome to my mommy's channel. Today is our full wash day routine. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So as Ava said, this is her full wash day routine and I'm going to be sharing with you how I detangle, wash, condition, moisturize and style her hair. And this is the first time my baby girl is making an appearance on my channel. So I hope you enjoy the video. Also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to check out my other videos for lots of hair care tips, hairstyles and tutorials. So let's begin with step one, which is to detangle Ava's hair. And this is a process I always follow when doing mine and Ava's sister's hair as well. So as you'll see, I tend to twist her hair up and keep it in four sections because it makes the detangling process more easier and straightforward to do. And also having some structure in place just makes the process feel less overwhelming, especially if you don't want to spend all day doing your child's hair. I also like to cover her clothes with this cape to, to protect it from any mess, which is something I started doing a few months ago because we all know things can get kind of messy with products and stuff, and so I don't want to dirty her clothes unnecessarily. So I'm just going to show you what I do on this section only before speeding things up. But I unravel her twist first, and then I fully saturate her hair with lots of water to hydrate it, loosen up the strands, and to make it more elastic and flexible so that her hair is easier to manipulate. Now, if you don't currently do this to your child's hair before combing, then this is something that you should definitely be, start doing, as this will help to avoid hurting your child's hair or damaging it and causing any unnecessary breakage due to their hair being too dry. Okay, so I like to start off with finger detangling Ava's hair first as it helps to carefully separate out her strands so I can feel my way through the knots and tangles and then removing them and I always do this before going in with a comb so I'm not breaking her hair. Next I apply some oil for extra slippage. Oils are so good for helping to remove any knots and tangles and I only, I'll use any oil really but this time I'm using coconut oil and as you'll see I'm just sliding my fingers down her strands you know and just feeling for any knots before going in with a small tooth comb and just teasing the ends of her hair to remove any little tricky knots that tend to build up before going in with a wide tooth comb on the rest of her hair and again I pretty much repeat the same process before twisting it up and moving on to the next one. Now that you get the picture, I'm just going to speed things up. So as I was saying at the start of the video, this is the first time um, Ava has made an appearance on my channel. I actually planned to film her wash day video when she was two years old, but she did not like having her hair washed. She would cry like crazy. And to be honest, she still does, doesn't really like it that much, but we've made a lot of progress since then. So that's why this video has taken me so long to film. Uh, but let me know in the comments if any of you mums are currently struggling with wash day. If you are, just hang in there and keep going because it will get easier. I've been through this process twice before, so trust me, I know exactly how it can be. But here's a few tips, you know, to help you through the process. Just make sure your child has eaten, they've had a drink or has had some snacks, they've got their iPads, you know, on standby just to help keep them happy and entertained. Okay, so moving on to step two, which is to wash um, Ava's hair. I'm just unraveling all the twists and then I'm gonna tie each section with some hair bands to keep her hair together so it doesn't come loose. Um, and then I'm using um, this uh, washing cap, which is designed to keep the water out of your child's face and ears. And I've been using this for a good few years now um, and actually bought it for my eldest daughter, Olivia, when she was two. And she's seven now, or almost seven. She's six going on seven and she still uses it. So to wash her hair, I'm using the Aunt Jackie's Moisturising and Softening Shampoo, which I've been using on Ava's hair for as long as I can remember. So I'm only applying the shampoo to her strands first before massaging it into her scalp to cleanse it well. And you'll see that I like to hold on to her hair a lot because it's what I do to prevent her hair from shrinking up or becoming tangled during the washing process. And this works really well and something you might want to try as well. And if anyone is wondering whether this washing cap is um, worth trying then I definitely say it is because it's helped a great deal with getting through wash day um, but you just need to make sure that you tighten the adjusters at the back of their head properly as sometimes the water can seep through into their face and that's when things can go completely downhill. <laughs> So I'm just giving her hair a really good cleanse because wash day is overdue and I only shampoo her hair once. I'm making sure that her hair will come out nice and clean and then I'll rinse it off before twisting it up again um, to keep her hair in place. 
So I tend to wash Ava's hair every two to three weeks, although there has been times when wash days have been overdue. I mean, we have three heads of hair to wash, and so I try to alternate it and write it down, you know, that we've got schedules to keep on track. But life can sometimes get really busy, and before you know it, it's wash day again. And I know some of you mums can relate. It's literally like a part-time job. Okay, so hair's been cleansed, twisted, and ready for the conditioning process, which swiftly brings me on to step number three, which is to condition, and you're pretty much gonna see me repeat the same process again. So I'm using the Aunt Jackie Super Duper Softening Conditioner, and when applying it to Ava's hair, I like to separate her strands to get in between her hair to make sure all of the strands receive the conditioning product. And I do like to be generous in the amount of product that I apply, um, and then once that's done, I'll just twist her hair back up again and move on to the next section and repeat the same process. So Ava's hair has grown so much over the years, she's literally just turned four last week. Um, but I've been taking care of her hair since she was a few months old and her hair care routine is very simple and easy. I just wash and condition every two to three weeks. I moisturize her hair twice a day. And when styling, I'll create simple and easy puff styles or sometimes I'll create twisted styles which can last about a week or two. And that just gives her hair a nice break from everyday styling. So I'm just going to cover her hair with the cap to allow the conditioner to sit for 10 minutes. And then quickly moving on to step four, which is time to rinse it all out. So guys, this routine is super easy. If you're currently struggling with caring for your child's hair, all you really need is a simple hair care routine that you can stick to, some patience, lots of TLC, and over time your child's hair can have the potential to flourish. Before I forget, both the shampoo and the conditioner I'm using will be in the description box um, along with the, the washing cap with links to where you can get them from and also my other daughter's wash day um, and styling videos will be there as well just for anyone who might be interested in checking that out. Another thing I'm not sure if I've mentioned is that I like to use headbands to tie the ends of Ava's hair because from experience with my hair, the twists don't um, always stay together and they tend to unravel. So this just helps to keep them you know, together and gives you one less thing to worry about. And again, I use this method on my hair as well. Um, by the way, I'll link my wash day video in the description box for anyone who might be interested in watching that as well. Okay, so I'm just using a t-shirt to dry Ava's hair because it's a lot less harsh and more gentle than a towel. And then I'm just gonna block dry and squeeze out the excess water from her hair and we'll leave it until I'm ready to moisturize and style. Moving on to the final step, which is to style her hair. And we're going for something quick and simple and one of Ava's favorite hairstyles to wear. So I'm using the Imbu Coil Rejoicing Leave-In Conditioner to moisturize her hair. And this is a product I started using around December, January this year, which I've been loving. Um, it's very moisturizing, and me and my girls all tend to use the same moisturizing products in our house, which is handy. So I'm just smoothing the product into her hair and making sure it's well moisturized, and I really like to take my time during this step, because I want to make sure that all strands are covered and that her hair is not left feeling too dry. I'm just going to repeat the same process again um, and then we'll be ready to style her hair. Okay, so did I tell you guys that Ava is the boss when it comes to styling her hair? Listen, she is always telling me how she wants her hair styled for nursery. If I try to even deviate or try anything else, this girl will not be having it. I mean, to be honest, I kind of set myself up because I always used to ask her how she wanted her hair to be styled. And before I knew it, she literally took over. 
we're going for two double puffs and some pretty hair bows with a zigzag parting at the front and I'm gently um, going to be brushing and smoothing her hair up to create the look. So the whole wash day process, not including detangling, took just under an hour, which isn't too bad. Um, but detangling can sometimes take a lot longer than an hour, depending on how tangled her hair is. But she was so good filming this video because normally she'll have her uh, iPad to keep her occupied, but she had nothing today. So my baby girl did really well, although she, to be honest, she is really good anyway. So just to add the bows to the finishing touch, and there we have it, wash day complete and a very happy girl.